for the youth, for those of you who are still living at home, for those of you who still have to face what you consider the stifling experience of the, 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 the rules that your parents place upon you and all of these issues of, of clashing with them. I want to remind you, point number one, I want to remind you of a simple fact. It is a fact that has nothing to do with our religion. It is a fact that transcends culture and civilization. It is a human fact. And that fact is no one on earth will ever love you as much as your parents. And no one cares more about you than your parents. And whether you understand it or not, your parents have your best interest in mind when they tell you what they want you to do. Now I know this fact is somewhere back there, you know it. But wallahi, I know as a teenager, you didn't even want to think about it. You just want to sideline it. You know it deep down, you know it. And this is just words to you now. And mark my words and remember them. Until you are a parent, you will never understand what this means. Until you have a child of your own, until you hold this little baby in your arms, and as a mother or a father, you realize, oh my God, I'm in charge of this kid. I have to take care of this kid. And then those emotions start coming in. And then you begin to sacrifice your sleep and your time and your effort and your money. And the love for this child grows and grows and grows. Then it hits you. Then and only then. Right now it's only words. Then it will hit you. Oh my God, my parents must have been through the same thing that I'm going through now. And you know what you're going to feel? I felt this and I know all of you that are going to have kids and have, have kids feel this. You will feel an immense sense of guilt. Guilt! When you have your child and you start to sacrifice for that child, then and only then will you realize, what did I do? How could I have treated my parents like that? What if this kid does the same to me? Because the kid will do the same to you eventually. It's a part of human dynamics. But my point to you is very simple. And that is, Allah Azza wa Jal in His infinite plan of, of creation has placed in the parents this emotion without which, wallahi, they could not raise kids. Kids are not easy to raise. Do you know the amount of frustration that builds in a, a parent because of the child? Only a parent knows this. Do you know the amount of money that you have to spend to raise a kid? All of that money, the parents, their lives become transformed after they have kids. Their lives become for their kids. They live for their children. And that's something, you know it. As kids, you know it, but it never really hits you and you won't experience it till you're a parent on your own. I want you to understand that this asphyxiation you have, Wallahi, it is an asphyxiation of love. It's because your parents love you, they're placing all these commands on you. You might think, you might think that you know better than them. Most of the time you don't. Sometimes yes you do, no doubt. But most of the time you don't. No one on earth will ever love you as much as your parents.